This is the third bag of the left border pack. So this is going to be the 10th through the 13th triangle in this bag sort video. And we're going to start with the LS10 block. We do have a modified block. So we go and take the page from the booklet, if I can find it, yes, okay. So we have this here, which is, they've just changed the way that this is pieced. It's going to be a little easier for us to do it this way. So I've got my bag that I'm going to dump out and work on my pieces. There seems to be some little tiny pieces in this one. Let's see what we got going on. I'm going to lay, start laying these out and s putting these others in piles of similar... Oh, I bent that already. <laughs> similar size pieces and we will go from there. So I've got all my pieces laid out and I'm going to label these each LS10. Now I'm going to mark my focus fabric and that's going to be this center triangle and then this triangle, these arrow pieces here, and these bottom two banners are going to be the focus fabric. And then I be, it, this is uh, it's a similar to this fabric, it's a stripe fabric, so I've got a direction to worry about. And I'm going to mark that on each of these pieces before I put them away. So my block prep is a lot easier. And then I'm going to number my pieces as I take them down. It may or may not be necessary, but it's easier to do now than later. And it does help when you go back to lay it back out after you are starting your assembly process. So I'm going to get these marked and labeled, and then I'm going to bag them up and move on to the next block. Next up is LS11. It is a modified block, so I go to the next page in the booklet and I, this is mislabeled as top, so I changed it to left, and it says 12. They're just out of order, so you're going to go to left 11 and work on that one. So we've got squares and in the middle, and we've got this moon-shaped piece that's going to be appliqued on top of this piece here. And then I'm going to get all these pieces, and there's a little tiny football right there that gets appliqued onto the tip. So let me get my pieces laid out. So I'm working on putting these pieces up, and uh, these and these are extremely similar. This one, this one up here has a longer top they're all the same size because they all have the same are they all the same depth excuse me because they all have the same squares associated with it but it's the length of this that's so similar so I have one for one size and one for another and they are very much not the same I think that's the easiest way to see it is that so this one is longer than that one the longer one goes on this row because I had one on I had one of these down here and then the other one up here and it wasn't fitting quite right and because it's the paper pieces booklet it's supposed to fit exactly and that's what happened so I'm going to take these pieces Whoops. then there's these other pieces that are shorter and that's for a different block so you want to make sure <laughs> That you're getting the right pieces here so that's for these two so just be real careful as you put these up with all my pieces laid out and I'm going to label these LS11 now time to label my focus fabric so this is the applique piece for the large side so that's focus fabric 
and then we have this one and this one this one these two rectangles this square this rectangle and this football and my fabric is not directional so I don't need to label for that and I'm going to put these in a baggie and move on to the next one Next, we move on to LS12, again a modified block, so we're going to go to the booklet. It's been simplified, so we have all these little squares that I've put aside for the most part. And I will get these all laid out so we can mark them properly. All the pieces are laid out, now I've got to label them. Now I'm going to mark my focus fabric. We're going to start with this and these squares here. And then he's got shuffled up a little bit. So that's going to be this one and the triangles that point towards it. And then this one and this one and this one. And the rest of that is background. And my fabric is kind of directional. It was going to matter whether it's the right way, so I'm going to mark it with my pen on the dotted pieces. And one thing I did not do on the last block, which I'm kicking myself now, is because I had that issue with some of them being a similar size, I should have numbered them. So I'm going to have to lay those out again later and number them. But I'm going to make sure that I number these because some of these are a little different. So I'm, as I take these off, I'm going to number these. And I will put them in the baggie and move on to the last block. Lastly, we have LS13, which is the last block of the row and the last block of the bag. And that means all the remaining pieces are going to be for this particular block. And we have, whoops, we have applique footballs on top of these. So I'm going to get my pieces laid out. I'm going to see whether or not these match the angles, but we'll get to that. So I have four of these pieces that go on the edge of this row and they're very, very, very close together. So this one, if you can tell that this one is slightly longer than this one here, which means that this one goes with this one. So make sure you got the two that are the same on the same row. So those two and those two go together. And then the longer one goes on the bottom because they weren't quite fitting right. So the longer of the two goes on the bottom, you're definitely going to have to label or number these blocks as well. But now I should be able to... The other thing I'm going to check is the triangles because they look like they might be the same, but they also, I don't know. These, this triangle here is going to go to the edge, so there's not going to be any flat side. So these that are, got the real skinny edge are going to go against this that make up this last triangle row towards the point. So that's going to be that, and then this goes here. I should probably get my stiletto, but I'm going to verify the sides of the triangles before I try to put them out to make sure that I get the right ones in the right place. So all the triangles are all the same size, so it's just a matter of placing them out. All of these are the same size, so I will just 
finish putting these where they belong. Now I'm going to label my pieces LS13. Now I need to label my focus fabric, which is going to be this one, this one, and this one. We've got the appliqued footballs on each one of those. And then we have triangles pointing towards the tip. I don't know what my fabric is for this one because I didn't get it out apparently. So I'm going to label my directional anyway. And I'm going to number my pieces because of the edges. Bag this up and this now concludes the bag three bag sort for the left border pack.